A sunny spring day paired with spring break, and many people decided a ferry was the best way to get around yesterday, or so they thought. I mean, it was a disaster. We actually had to fight our way to the front. Between overcrowding and what seemed to be too few ferries along the East River, ferry riders we spoke to were fired up. We waited for over an hour, and the lines were chaotic, and no one was letting us through, and no one knows which ferry is going where, and it was it was not a pleasant experience. NYC Ferry took to Twitter to alert riders due to larger than usual passenger volume, delays or disruptions may occur on all routes. Service alerts were also posted on the NYC Ferry app. Many riders felt the system, overseen by the city's Economic Development Corporation, missed the boat by not having adequate service. But a report released last month warned of these issues, in part saying NYC ferry ridership is seasonal and leisure oriented. The nonprofit behind it, Citizens Budget Commission, also tweeted in response to yesterday's ferry delays a reminder that its ridership is highly seasonal, peaking during warm months. Backing up that claim with this graphic showing NYC ferries ridership varies more by season than any other ferry network in the area. The graph to the right is the NYC ferry. It shows it peaks in the summer months, falls drastically during the winter, and spikes again when it gets warm. In the meantime, riders looking for relief may have to wait a little longer. A spokesperson explains the summer schedule is still a few weeks away. Until Memorial Day weekend, we're operating on a spring schedule, which means boats run every 30 to 60 minutes depending on the routes. Today just happened to be a hotter day than normal, and so we're seeing an increased level of ridership. The summertime schedule will go into effect Memorial Day weekend, and so ferries will be running every 20 minutes or so. We're told there will also be more workers on hand at the busiest landings, but again, we have a few more weeks till we get to that point. We're live at Pier 11, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Jenna, thanks.